All right, Game Changers, welcome back to another video here today. Now, we all know what happened with Nick Merckx, and I want to expand on my last commentary where we talked about exactly why they canceled him and just the fact that it was so wrong that they did it so abruptly and without conversation. We just learned recently, at least what the clip I'm going to be playing to you guys from Nick himself, is that Call of Duty didn't even address issue with him and have a conversation as to what he actually meant in the comments that he made and it wasn't as offensive as most people think they just blew it out of proportion and that's the problem that i even have with call of duty or any company out there that just cancels people based off of assumptions or what the mass majority of what they think or the community thinks or what the internet thinks you know just because it isn't to their narrative then they mob cancel somebody because that's not the opinion that they have or share and that is so wrong first get the full picture and then if it is offensive indeed then consider those things then consider canceling them consider dropping them consider whatever else you need to do but not before you have a conversation and not before you get some sort of clarification and this is honestly the biggest problem that we have in today's society which is cancel culture they just assume things and do things without having a mature conversation or at least have sort of a discussion with the person of things that are concerning and then if there's a back and forth and then if we are not in agreement or there's any sort of issues then you discuss and make the decision for a different course of action that's how mature people handle things but obviously call of duty isn't mature they're not they are catering to the woke culture the woke mob out there and that is hugely problematic you're goddamn right but anyways i'm gonna play the clip from nick merck so you can hear it from himself and then we will discuss what all was said I gotta give a bunch of love to all of our partners man that gave me a chance to like hear me out you know because because you know call of duty didn't even Thank you, you know full transparency you know they didn't even give me a chance they didn't even talk to me and i'm only bringing that up because everybody else did everybody else did like, like every other partner I have, everybody else, man, like we, like we at the very least had a conversation. Like, hey, Nick, listen, man, you know, you can understand why these thoughts might be a little bit, you know, provocative and whatnot. We just kind of want to talk to talk to you, our partner, and get like a deeper understanding as to what you meant, you know, how you feel. Call of Duty is the only one, man. They just yanked the fucking rug on me. They didn't even, they, no conversation about it. Now, they can make that decision. I'm not saying that they can't, but I just think it's kind of crazy that not even a conversation, huh? You know, in chat, listen, can I? Can we agree on something? Yo, ho hold on. Of all the companies, you know, and I, I really, I, my manager's not going to want me to say this, man, but I just got to keep it a buck. Bro, of all the companies, Call of Duty, those, that, that's the company? Is anybody else bam boozled by that? I am. Jesus Christ, man. I didn't even say anything. Fuck. I keep thinking. It's like I went up there and did a speech. You guys see, this is the problem absolutely the biggest problem with call of duty is because if they were mature they would have engaged in a conversation to discuss whatever problem or issue they had with his statement and find a potential solution when you have open and respectful discussions it allows people to understand different perspectives share insights and work towards a resolving issue in a constructive manner because guess what number one when you listen actively you pay attention to what the other person is saying you show empathy and try to understand their viewpoint without interrupting or dismissing their thoughts because each and every individual is allowed to have their own thought and again you express thoughts and concerns you share your own perspective and concerns about the problem and then you use clear and respectful language to avoid accusations and then you seek common ground. You look for areas of agreement or even areas of disagreement. And you just got to recognize that there are different viewpoints other than your own. And it's important to respect their rights and opinions. Obviously, if that is too much and you don't, then that's one thing. But at the same time, just holding a conversation first is owed 
to every single person out there, in my opinion. You know, avoid personal attacks, disrespectful language, and stay focused at the problem at hand. That's the best possible solution you can have. And then, like I said before, if there's anything that you need as far as clarifying different viewpoints, then seek that clarification if it's unclear. If you need more information to fully understand the issue, then do that. This prevents misunderstandings and ensures that everyone is on the same page. This is what mature people do. Obviously, based off of Call of Duty's actions by Activision, <laughs> it is clear to me that they are not mature, not in one way or another. Like obviously, if they had an issue or they thought something that Nick Merck said was big or controversial or he shouldn't have said it, then at least have a conversation just like the rest of his partners did, okay? They tried to actually understand the man and where he was coming from. If then and only then you thought it was still an issue and you didn't agree with it, then okay. But it shows that they are immature because the rest of the partners actually had a conversation and gave him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, and made that abundantly clear. So that again is the biggest issue here. But when we can't have a simple conversation amongst two individuals or a company in this case and a partner or the streamer, <laughs> that really shows that there is a bigger problem. And this can be with anyone for whatever reason. This is just the perfect example that we are presented with and that we are discussing at this moment. But this could be for anything out there. Any difference of opinion that you have from the company means that they could just instantly drop you without any explanation, without a conversation, without at least giving you the human decency to just sit down and have a mature conversation clarification and it just wow you, you guys know what i'm talking about like you would expect that from another individual right if somebody had said certain things you would expect them to be mature come sit down next to you and be like dude like well, what did you mean by that you know and then seek that sort of clarification as to what exactly they meant before just accusing them like, oh, this is what they meant. This is what I assumed that they said. So, you know, I'm just not, a, I'm just not even going to talk to them. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, dude. It shouldn't work like that. Then why is Call of Duty or Activision doing that? And again, I'm not like a huge Nick Merckx fanboy. So don't think that's the case. I don't even follow the man. I'm not really a fan of him and his content. I'm not just saying it. I'm saying it from a perspective that is overall looking at how things should really be between two parties, okay? Give the other party some benefit of the doubt. And then if they prove you wrong, you can act accordingly. But before that, <laughs> don't just do that whole cancel culture nonsense where without giving the other person the benefit of the doubt, you're just going to cancel them, drop them, and all that stuff. Call of Duty, just do better. You guys are embarrassing. Honestly, what you did, it just makes me sick to think that you could do that to somebody like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Now, with that being said, this is GCP signing off.